Lawmakers are demanding accountability for two members of the president's cabinet. This after protesters were forcibly removed outside the White House this week. CBS 17's Joe Khalil with our D.C. Bureau reports on their calls for action for what they describe as an abuse of power. Yeah, the president's still getting a lot of pushback for uh, clearing protesters on Monday when it seemed like they were just protesting peacefully. So now we have members of the House and the Senate looking at the president's cabinet for accountability. California Democrats are attacking members of President Trump's cabinet over Monday night's police action against protesters and the photo op at St. John's Church that followed. The Secretary of Defense engaged in a blatant political activity. John Garamendi sits on the House Armed Services Committee. He says Defense Secretary Mark Esper should resign. But Esper says he had no idea about the president's plan to walk to the church. What I was not aware of was exactly where we were going when we, we, when we arrived at the church and what the plans were once we got there. But Secretary Esper has publicly criticized the president's plan to prepare active military to police protesters. And Garamendi says that should be Esper's cue to quit. It is move for any official to resign when asked to do something that is improper. Thank this you. committee has a duty to confront these issues, Mr. Chairman. And Senator Kamala Harris wants the Senate Judiciary Committee to investigate the Attorney General William Barr's involvement in clearing the protesters. It was reported that Attorney General Barr personally ordered their forceful removal. She's asked her committee to put all other business aside until they investigate Barr. Barr says he, too, didn't have much warning about the president's plans, but Barr says officials did intend to move the protesters anyhow. There was no correlation between uh, our, our, our tactical plan of moving the perimeter and the president's uh, going over to the church. Barr says he and other cabinet members were with the president because the president asked them to be there. Now, we haven't heard anything official about a Senate investigation yet into Bill Barr. And in terms of Secretary Esper, no word yet on whether he plans on resigning. In Washington, Joe Khalil, CBS 17.